I've sunk an enemy destroyer. In the waters deep and wide, there's a ship that cuts the tide. Grows a boy, she reigns supreme with a legendary gleam. Upgrade her might, upgrade her speed. Grows a voice, the one you need. Legendary power, never concede. In worlds of warships, she'll lead. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic there. Hope you enjoyed the intro there. But yeah, this is talking about uh, the Grozovoy and the new legendary upgrade. Or not new, but uh, for me, I just got it. So let's take a look and analyze it before we begin. If you guys want to support the channel, like, subscribe, all button below. Appreciate all the support, building the community, having a great place, building good friendships, and uh, learning something at the same time. And can't thank you guys enough. As always, if you see me out there, again, always say hi and uh, cheers. So let's get right to it. What is the Grozovoy legendary upgrade? So go ahead, let's go ahead and put a screenshot up here so what is it really um, it is basically just making the uh, ship a slightly better gun uh, platform if you will but just by sacrificing the reload on the torpedoes you can see plus 20 percent there so main main battery reload time in slot six goes a minus 18 percent versus the 12 percent and you can just watch the videos in the background just to kind of see uh, the difference in the reload just listen to the sound of the guns uh, the reload the reload rate time it however you want uh, see the particular play style um, I, I just kind of build this for my generic, you know, RPF kind of long-range gunboat build that the uh, the algorithm actually recommends or Wargame recommends, and you can see what it does. Um, and you notice the reload time on the torpedoes is instead of the 129 second base, you're up to about 159 ish plus just something like that. Where instead of basically still long reload, instead of a two-minute reload, you're just under three minutes. So, <clears throat> what, what do I? What do I think about it while you're enjoying the uh, background footage? Really, this is that long-range kind of gunboat-style build. Do I see a really increase um, in the reload? Maybe like about a 0.2-ish, 0.3-ish second reload, maybe? I mean, what's 6% of, you know, 3.49 seconds, something like that? And uh, you can do the math, do the calculations. Is that 0.3 or 0.2, whatever it is, uh, especially when Adrenaline Rush kicks in now? So you notice I'm down to almost dead here. Uh, about 2.8 second reload. I, I don't have Fearless Brawl or AFT or anything like that. It, this is just purely slot 6 reload and adrenaline rush. And this is the kind of the reload you're expecting right here. Oh, look, I'm almost dead right here. And we're just kind of just withering away a, yo a Yodo. And uh, take a look at it. So what do you think? What, do you think this is a worthy upgrade of it? Or is it worth it to grind out for? Uh, it, again, if you have the extra research bureau points, the free XP, the time, uh, whatever you want to grind uh, for this, it is... Um, purely up to you. I'm just going to see if it's really worth it. I d Overall, I don't really see my gameplay style changing at all a little bit. Uh, it's still, I would say, similar. Uh, just having that extra reload, uh, it may or may not improve the, the gameplay a little bit. But um, I honestly say, in my personal opinion, if you're okay with the reload uh, of the torpedoes being slightly more, because I don't really look at the Grozovoy as being a torpedo boat. I think they're just there as a, hey, nice torpedoes, right? They go up to 12, which is great. Um, but they're still slow. They're not, you know, they're not like Gearing or Shimakaze or Yu Yang or anything like significant. They're just, if you get a lucky torpedo hit, great. You notice I'm firing torpedoes there. People will spot them from a mile away and whatever. But really the bread and butter I think of a Grozovoy, I think of it as a gunboat platform. That Soviet gunboat platform that has great ballistics, great shells, 130 millimeters, very, very damaging. Look, I'm taking on a San Diego here. Uh, I'm taking, I'm not afraid to take on light cruisers. I know I'm going to deal just well against uh, destroyers. I think I can take on any destroyer I want to play with and really you're just getting that increase of reload now look at that. I'm taking on a Mogador but again I wish I had a little bit more health I would have uh, been able to uh, and he if, if this Mogador didn't have any uh, French saturation or help I think I de definitely could have taken this guy on with the amount of health I had but unfortunately I was getting shot out by four other people and you know this, this Mogador should have died uh, but just look at that a little bit better reload 2.8 second reload eh, could I have done better maybe yeah I mean always you can always do better but does the reload help me any bit? I mean, that 0.2 or 3 seconds-ish, 
Uh, let's take a look at the Z52. Looking at range right here. About I notice most of my engagements don't happen beyond uh, 12 to 13. So do I want to take uh, Fearless Brawler instead of that max range that the Wargaming recommends? Maybe. Because I think they want a Grizzly to be that long range gunboating kind of platform like Kleber or uh, maybe Elbing style. But I don't think so. I mean, I think this thing... I don't know. Let me try a video where I, I do uh, Fearless Brawler, a little bit more reload. And here, here's a one-on-one -on -one versus Z52. Notice, again, the engagement is less than 12. Most of the engagements I've seen in the Grosvoy and now in today's meta is really just uh, these less than 12-kilometer engagements. And just look at that. From a uh, three-quarter health Z52, we got the plenty of health. We got the heals. I mean, just look at this thing. A 3.1-second reload, yeah, it does pretty well. I mean, look at that. Taking on the Z52, if I had my buddies and I look at the map, all my buddies are running away. So I'm on my own, like always. It seems like today, you, you're as a destroyer player you're always fighting for yourself but look at the, the reload 2.8 long range uh or decent range very accurate great shell ballistics they come out of the gun about 950 meters per second or 980 something like that grows away fast firing guns very accurate i like the reason that happened again look less than 12 kilometer reload i'm sorry less than 12 kilometer uh range and you're shooting against a trump i think this is a good comfortable range right here notice the again legendary mod gives me that 3.3 seconds with no any extra helps or buffs or anything like that so I don't know. I I I, uh, I don't see a downside to taking it because why? In slot six, you're just taking an extra twenty to thirty second on reload on torpedoes, and you get an extra six percent on the gun reload. So in slot six, you're still. I mean, if you had switched or stayed with the normal twelve percent twelve percent reload, uh, you get an eighteen percent, a little an extra six percent for this legendary mod. So you get instead of twelve, you get eighteen. So why not? You know, why not take an extra six percent reload reduction? And the traverse speed is actually uh, better than the normal slot six uh, modification. So if you take the legendary right there, you also get that uh, traverse speed of plus seven percent. So I mean, this is uh, this is really tailored for more of that gunboat play style. So I actually recommend it. I, I think it's great. I think it works really well. Uh, I don't see why it would hurt me um, because I'm not a torpedo boat guy in Grozovoy. Uh, so really. My personal opinion, I like it. I'm going to keep it on the Grozovoy because it, why not? It, do, it doesn't hurt me in, in any aspect. It doesn't hurt my concealment. It doesn't hurt any kind of you know maneuverability or anything. It actually increases the traverse of the guns. The only downside you're really taking is the torpedoes are now, as you can see at the bottom of my screen right here, 149 seconds as opposed to the standard 129. So, yeah, I, I definitely recommend it. I think um, Grozovoy's legendary upgrade is definitely worth it. Now, for you, that new, say maybe you're a new player, uh, if you don't have the resources to grind it out, then maybe hold off on it. Maybe it's not as worth uh, the upgrade right off the bat if you're not a Grozovoy player, if you're not that um, gunboat player, if you're more focused on something else, then yeah, I wouldn't say uh, take the time of resources to grind it out because remember, it's a research, research bureau upgrade, which means you have to reset a line. And if you don't know what that is, go Google it. But you basically go to the tech tree, find a line, go at the very bottom of the tier 10. If you have at least a few tier 10 lines grinded out, you can reset them. I definitely always recommend resetting the Haraguma line. It's the cheapest one. Uh, and then, you of course, reset the Haraguma line and make sure you have enough free XP. Or if you want to really go ahead and grind it out, make sure you have all the flags for the grinding out of the um, ship XP. You can maximize your ship XP uh, flags, and then you can get as many uh, XP points based on just grinding out that particular line. For me, again, it's the Haraguma line. Um, I normally, I kind of just free XP everything up till uh, tier 8 of the Haraguma line. Akazuki, which is tier 8 uh, of the Haraguma line. I just use that gunboat, just start playing, you know, a bunch of, uh, you know, either the, the uh, what is it called, rank these days or random. And just play and use the maximum uh, bonus XP flags and get as many as I can. Get to tier 9, which is then the Kitakaze. Grind that out again. Get, in, get to Haraguma. Play one game, each of those, and you get those free XP uh, research bureau points. And then, of course, if there's bonuses every um, quarter or whatever it is, you get to uh, get more uh, research bureau points. And then, you, again, you, it's a minimum of approximately 19,100 ish, something like that, to uh, grind out these research bureau upgrades. And then, of course, you can pick the ones that you want to boom. I kill with that Prussian right there. And, of course, I'm just farming Massachusetts right here. Again, here's a 3.3-second reload legendary uh, mod. No, no other things other than Adrenaline Rush kicking in. This is kind of the, what you're expecting of the reload. I think it could get better, honestly. Uh, but I said anything under two seconds, you don't really need to upgrade. But for about a three to four second, yeah, if you can increase it down to two seconds, I mean, yeah, definitely worth it. Again, going back to the research bro, yeah, if it's worth the grind, unless you want to grind something else out, maybe Guten Lil or Petro or maybe some other legendary upgrade, that's totally worth it for you. But I'm just showing you what I did for the um, the, the Grozovoy. Someone asked about it, is it worth it? And I, I, I think it is. If you have the resources for it, go for it. If you don't, if you want to do something else, then maybe hold off on it. Because you're getting all you're getting really is a 6% increase in the reload. 
of the main battery guns while taking a hit to the torpedo. So I've already said that enough. Here's my last clip right here, just taking a uh, gander at uh, just farming down in Ohio. Uh, I think I have friends, right? I have two battleships behind me. I think two battleships and a, a destroyer can take on a Ohio. So let's take a look at uh, what we can do. And I like the Grozovoy for a mini, mini bunch of reasons. Well, we'll talk about the ship. Uh, we'll, I've already done a review on it, and uh, maybe we'll take a look at it when I get a better, better fearless brawler or more improved gun reload. The uh, Soviet Tier 10 kind of Harigumo style kind of build instead of, you know, focused on that Kabarov style. This is more of that kind of sleek gunboat uh, DD main kind of thing where you're getting about three and a half to four second reloads on the guns. Torpedoes go out to 12. Long reloads, of course. You got smoke. You got the engine boost, you got heals, and you got defensive fire. You got, you have a plethora of almost everything. So this is kind of that Lucian style, maybe um, Kabarov style, really annoying gunboat play style. <laughs> You're like annoying destroyer that shoots a lot of guns kind of play style that you've always been accustomed to. If you played against, say, Kabarov, a Lucians, or a Delny, or something like that, this is kind of that improved reload with better concealment. So the concealment is what I really enjoy about it, man. If this thing had a concealment out to a seven and a half, eight, I mean, Kleber ranges, then, yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't like it. But be, the fact that it has down to 6.0, which is great, which is I mean I can go around being stealthy. It's got the speed. It's very good, about the 40 knots, just without engine boost or anything. So I like that aspect of the roll. And uh, it's a very, very powerful gunboat. And especially with the heals and a 24,000 uh, uh, HP health pool, man, you are a deadly destroyer. And I, I and the, the shell per list, as you can see, the arcs are a lot lower and they're not as high as a, uh, a gearing. And uh, the, the ballistics are 950 meters per second, roughly. Uh, they are very, very fast coming out of the guns. 130 millimeter, which is a very big caliber. So I like it. I mean, this thing is a very... I'm, I underestimated what the Grozovoy is and what it can do. It can really do a lot of destruction and damage. You notice I'm getting, look, 1,700 damage on the, the superstructure. Um, the accuracy is standard of any kind of destroyer at this uh, kind of uh, style. It, it, I don't see any more... Uh, it's not like Elbing and Ragnar kind of accuracy, but it's still the amount of shells you're pumping out. You're getting a lot of good fires, a lot of good ballistics, and uh, you're taking on, like, battleships and cruisers, and you can bully the D DDs around if you need to, but uh, the... Overall, I, I like the Grosse Boy. It's a very, very powerful, underestimated ship. I don't see many people play it as much, and I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I can't think for the life of me why people don't play it as much, uh, especially in clan battles or ranked or competitive. I, I like it. I mean, the fact that it has heals. I've always said the number one thing for a DD gunboat is survivability, and if you can have good concealment, you have good detection, you got uh, heals, and boom, look at that. Ohio, the finally torpedoes kick in. Again, me taking on the world, right? Again, I'm always the last guy in the game, and... Taking on battleships and cruisers and destroyers, yeah, that's that's my life. But uh, yeah, do I think it's a, a powerful ship? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's a strong little destroyer. I mean, look, we're after killing a battleship, we're still firing and taking on the Hayate. We're not going down without a fight, right? Uh, if I didn't have a Salem shoot, I mean, I think I could have taken on the Hayate. But uh, anyways, I digress. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth it to take an extra six percent reload uh, increase for the grind? Is it worth it? Um, you let me know in the comments below, and uh, the build will be at the end of the video here. But as always, hope you guys enjoy uh, everything we're doing in here. If you like what we're doing and want to support the channel, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support. We're learning great things, making good friends as always, and uh, it's a blast uh, to, to chat with you guys, have fun, and just play. And I, I enjoy the uh, community as well. But Let's take a look at the uh, the final build here again. Uh, strictly for uh, gun uh, boat boating, if you will, uh, grows a boy here. So, again, it goes in slot six right there, as you can see. Uh, standard build for any kind of gunboat, and uh, here's the commander build RPF. Well, I'll try to do it with uh, Fearless. So, take care, guys. Cheers.